Well hey guys, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home and I have a thrift haul for you today. <laughs> I don't get to go to the thrift haul the, 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 the. I don't get to go to the thrift store all that much and I mean I could if I wanted, but our thrift store isn't very thrifty. Um and so I don't know, but I have been really into looking for used uh, books for my kiddos. Um, kind of like classics and really good books that would make good read-alouds. And that is one place that I can get them inexpensively. And of course when I'm there, I'm always looking for other things. So today I'm going to show you the books I got first and then I'll show you the other things in this thrift haul. So first, I just want to apologize for this camera angle. My tripod is broken. It won't kind of stand straight up anymore. Um, kind of like the leg goes up in. And I just have it sitting on the table on the lowest setting. And it's kind of like coming down on me. So it's, I don't know, it's a weird angle. But this is the best I got right now. So, um, okay. So one of the first books I picked up was The Three Billy Goats Gruff. I remember reading this in first grade. And I... Um, I wanted to get it for, I wanted this to be one of those classic stories that my kiddos read. So there's also like lift flap things. So it kind of lifts up. Um, I remember like in first grade we even had like a big like wooden bridge that we would act this story out on. So anyways I thought this was a cute version of this story. Um, and next I picked up uh, Pippi in the South Seas. I have the Pippi Longstocking book already that I ordered on Amazon. Um, but I loved Pippi in the South Seas when I was a kiddo. Um, and then I found a couple of the Who Was books. Um, I picked up uh, Who Was Thomas Edison. Um, I think it was Thomas Edison. Uh, at our library last year for free. They actually were giving away uh, books and so I actually got that one for free and then I found these ones. So I've got Who Was Albert Einstein and then Who Was Harriet Tubman. Um, and then I picked up Mandy in the Secret Tunnel. My grandma would buy me the Mandy books when I was a kid and um, I think Aubrey will like to read these when she's a little bit older. They're kind of mystery books. Um, and they are, I think, yeah, they're wholesome, entertaining reading for young readers. And I think they are um, a little bit faith-based. Like, it's a, it's a wholesome, it's a wholesome book. I can't quite remember. But, um, yeah, I loved the Mandy books. So I think my daughter will get into those. Um, I found two I Can Read books. Um, they're level three. And this is uh, called The Josephina Story Quilt. My mom quilts, so anything with a quilt is like a big deal for us. Um, and the back says, Faith's Pa says there's no room on a wagon trained for her pet Josephina, a chicken who is too old to do anything. Can Josephina show Pa that the old bird still has a few surprises left? So it looks like a cute story. Um, they're pioneers, uh, so that'll be fun to read. And then this one was, and I can read again, level three, and it's called The Drinking Gourd, and it follows the story of the Underground Railroad. And the back says, a runaway slave family escapes to Deacon Fuller's house, a stop on the Underground Railroad. Will Tommy Fuller be able to hide the runaways, or will they be discovered? So then I got uh, an, an Amelia Bedelia book. Aubrey has a lot of Amelia Bedelia's. This is actually an old copy. Um, she has a lot of Amelia Bedelia's and she has a lot of the newer ones too. We actually were reading some last night. I like the old ones. I, I find them funny. Um, but yeah, this is Amelia Bedelia Helps Out. And then I picked up four little golden books. And these are all Christmas themed. So this one was The Night Before Christmas. And then this one is a Christmas story, the real Christmas story. Um, the Animals Christmas Eve. And I guess this one is Christmas, but uh, this one is God. So I think these will be great. I'll save the Christmas ones for Christmas because um, my mother-in-law one year did that thing where you wrap up 24 or 25 
Christmas books and she got all of them at the thrift store and Aubrey loved doing that. So I try and find like um, Christmas books and I may do that this year. So my eyes always peeled for good quality Christmas books. And the last two books I found, which I was really excited about, I actually, sadly I may have these already, but I couldn't risk not picking them up just in case. But they are two American Girl books and one is Meet Kirsten. I loved, oh my gosh, this used to be my book. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so weird. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> all right. So a couple years ago, um, all right, I'm just going to tell you a quick story. A couple years ago, my parents divorced and I already lived in Canada, but I had a lot of stuff at my parents' house, like childhood books and things of that nature. My dad was going to sell the house and he moved all of my belongings to my sister's house and so one day when we were visiting uh, I went to pick up all the stuff and there was a box and it was filled with books and I stupidly very stupidly donated a lot of them <laughs> and um, this is just so so cool how God works uh, I had no concept of how amazing reading aloud to your children was I did it every night with Aubrey and Cole like we read every night but I didn't realize like how rich of a life it could be if you're reading throughout the day and things like that. And so I, not that long ago, was looking on thriftbooks.com and on Amazon to find these classic American girls. Because you can buy these, but they're not these covers and they're not these illustrations. And I, there's a book plate in the back, y'all. This is me. <laughs> That is, I put that there when I was a kid. Oh my gosh, this book came back to me. I can't even believe this. And so I know I kept the Molly books because Aubrey has some Mollies, but I knew that I had Kirsten at one point and apparently I donated it and she came back to me and I'm, I can't, I can't even believe that right now because y'all, I donated this stuff years ago. At least two years ago. Was it two years? Probably two years ago. Yeah. Okay, and then so Felicity, I'm pretty positive that this must be my book as well because I used to have um, the Felicity book. And while I don't have a book plate in it, um, I'm fairly confident that this is my book too. Because <laughs> that's just too coincidental. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that. And I can't even believe I filmed catching it. That's so crazy. Okay. Woo! All right, so let's move on to the stuff stuff that I picked up. Um, this is the first thing I threw in my cart. I was so excited to see a bag of lemons. A bag of lemons. Guys, these things are so expensive for me. At, like, they may be cheap in the United States, but they're not in Canada. I have looked to buy a bunch of lemons for a couple years now. The cheapest I could find them on Amazon was for like 10 bucks for a bunch of them. The dollar store has them for like a dollar, a dollar store is a dollar twenty-five, dollar tree. You can buy one lemon for a dollar twenty-five. Michael's has a pack, but again, even using your 40%, they're expensive and they're tiny and you don't get that many. But I got a whole whack load for $2.99. I have wanted to have a lemon wreath for so long. Like a lemon wreath with like, I don't know, like lemon leaves on it too. Like just beautiful and I've wanted to make one and I finally have lemons so I'm so excited I'm still so blown away by that book I just I just can't <laughs> um this will be a little hard to see but I bought myself a green zip up kind of like active jacket thing um I love that color but I looked at the clothes for the kids didn't find anything for Cole and Aubrey didn't find that much for her except this dress it was eight dollars but it was a gap dress gap kids and I'll just have to I'll film this better <laughs> um, but it was a gap kids dress and I loved that it had so many colors so she can match so much with it um, as far as like different boots or shoes and tights and she could even wear it with like leggings underneath um, and it was just really cute 
And then the last thing I got was this little, this is so cute, this little shopping basket. Ah, how cute is that? It's metal. Um, it was $1.99, and I thought it would be so fun for the kids to play with, um, but I was thinking of using it actually in our homeschool. So we learned money last year. We have a cash register, um, and what I did was I made like a fake store for Aubrey with like little price tags for a whole bunch of different things, and I thought it would be fun to do that again to refresh um, the concept of, um, you know, money and stuff, and use this little shopping basket so that they could you know, put their little things in and bring it up to me and I'd ring it up at the register and all of that. So anyways, oh my goodness, this was, this was a fun haul. <laughs> Guess I should go to the thrift store more often. Um, anyways, let me know what any like surprise treasures that you found recently at the thrift store out garage sailing. Um, hope you guys are doing good. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.